Hi, this is Alban from Northern Viking Silver and I want to talk to you today about one of my oldest designs and one of my favourites. So when I say old, I'm talking back in the late 1990s when I was making my first models. I was making Thor's hammers and uh, if you bring the camera down, I'll show you. I'd made a small hammer, that's this one here. Then I'd made a large hammer. And then I wanted to make something that was really strong and powerful. So in 1998, I made this design here. Now, all these hammers are my own design, but those of you who are familiar with finds can see these have the form of some original hammers, particularly the shape of the head. So with this one, I put the, the ring chain design on the shaft, and I made this knot work that fitted the shape of the hammer. This is my own design, not from an original find. So when I came along to this hammer here, I extended the idea and put a couple of bird's heads in, raven's heads at the end of the hammer, the ring chain design on the shaft again, and I wanted to put a head on. So when I was looking for inspiration for a head, uh, I use a lot of reference books. If you bring the camera in, this is quite hard to see, but check out this picture here. This is a piece, an original piece from the Viking Age. There's a head on it. This is the head. I was looking at when I made this original design and that's where I got my idea from. In fact over here I have the original casting. What I mean by that is I made my first model in wax, a piece of wax, then it was put in a plaster mould and the wax was burnt off and destroyed and into the plaster is poured silver. This is actually sterling silver despite the old tarnished colour. So this is the original casting, which all our moulds are made from since then. What I like about this piece is I've really started to work with thick, massive uh, objects, like the, the shape of it and the curves. It's not just flat. It comes out and the head is actually biting the shaft of the hammer. So that was a piece of inspired design work that I'm really pleased with. And... Uh, over the years, uh, I've made a lot of them and we've sold a lot of them. In the old days, it used to be, back in the 90s, before the internet, paper catalogues like this were used. And uh, then a later catalogue here, look, you can see that hammer is actually the front piece on the catalogue. But also, despite making all these pieces by hand and selling them on specialist markets and on our website, Something I'm not so pleased with is there are also a lot of illegal copies out there, a lot of pirates. By that I mean someone's taken one of my hammers and they've pressed a mould around it and they do a casting from that mould. So it's made from my original model. In fact, uh, I've taken people to court three times to get them for breaking my copyright design. Um, but it turns up in other strange places as well. It was once used as a motif on a heavy metal festival poster or um, a really strange uh, occasion was some guy irately rang us up and complained that we were using the logo of his company, which was this hammer, uh, in order to sell jewellery. Uh, he didn't even realise that the original design that they were using for their company logo, they'd stolen from us. Well, he didn't get very far with us, that's for sure. Uh, so over the years, you can find copies of it on Facebook. Sometimes they're not pirates, they've just looked at the design and they've changed the proportions and they're pretty crude and they're not very nice and sometimes they're done in stainless steel or die cast metal with cheap plating on. But anyway, the story is, this is the original piece here that I made all that time ago. Although, I just want to show you its latest incarnation. Where We were in the, the National Museum in Copenhagen a couple of years ago and here we found my original hammer design in its latest incarnation. So if you want my Thor's hammer as a fridge magnet, this is your baby.